Most people, once they come in, they'll see what we do and they come back year after year just to see us again. We've had uh, several generations of families come that have then, uh, they, they were brought as kids, then they get married, then they start bringing their own kids. I love performing, it's in my blood, it's in my nature. the longest running theater in the entire area. This season we're celebrating our 40th season and uh, every year we've offered two to three different shows. Pat and Don McPherson, they started the theater, that's uh, my mom and dad. They met in Las Vegas, they were both professional dancers at the Folly Bergere. They started their own dance troupe and traveled around Europe, a three-person dance troupe called the Piccadilly Dancers. My grandparents from London came over and helped out, my uh, father's brother came over and helped, my mother's brother came over and helped, so it's been a family-run operation since we started. You know, it's not dangerous to have dogs in your nose, in fact, it's quite alright to leave them there for an hour or two. But in this case, since they got in without my permission, I decided to expel them immediately. Coax them out with a small bit of hamburger. The dogs plopped out, landed on the floor, shook their floppy ears, and bounded off. <laughs> I was amused by the prospect that some other weary traveler would awaken to find that he too has dogs in his nose. <laughs> Working at Sweet Fanny Adams, you get to have two hours of just fun. You come to work, doesn't matter what the rest of your day's been like, if you had a bad day, good day, you come here and you get to make people laugh and smile for two hours. And that's probably the best thing about Sweet Fanny Adams. Our most requested routine would be the world famous classical paper dance. We started that one in the early 80s and every year since then we've had to do it on stage because we've had an outpouring of people wanting to see that routine again. We have a seat in our front row called Big Ed's Seat. Big Ed is a gentleman that started seeing us in 1977 and managed to come down every year at least once or twice to see the shows and he's basically become a member of the family now. I grew up in Gatlinburg, so I've seen it change throughout the years from being relatively a small town into a booming tourist town and different trends come and go. I like Gatlinburg because it's a walking town. Everything basically in Gatlinburg is 10 minutes away. Sweet Fanny Adams, downtown Gatlinburg by traffic light number three. Our box office opens every day at 10 a.m. Please feel free to call for reservations or check out our website at www.sweetfannyadams.com. I want to see Sweet Phantom stay in the family, and I want to see it go for another 40 seasons.